it's very interesting. Uh, so, so first of all, the mechanism of action is really important. So when we think about our JAK inhibitors, uh, the approved ones that we have, upadacitinib and abrocitinib, they both bind to the, um, the active domain. Now, they've been created so that they're as specific as possible for the active domain, and they're the pathways that they affect um, uh, are, are different uh, from that of psoriasis, and that's why the, their indication is in atopic dermatitis. For TIC2, it, it is one of the uh, members of the Jack kinase family, but the TIC2 is more, much more involved with IL, things like IL-23, uh, therefore in, in, you know, affecting the downstream IL-17 uh, pathway, and uh, also IL-12 and, and type 1 interferon. So, so when we're looking at the mechanism of action of TIC2 inhibition, even regardless of where the molecule binds, uh, we see uh, a bit differentiation between TIC2 and other types of JAKs with regards to uh, the uh, the kind of the body system that's involved. And the TIC2 inhibition uh, is unique with ducravacitinib that, that it binds to the regulatory domain, as I said earlier in the, in the uh, more earlier parts of our presentation. So even sort of put a more unique um, uh, look on it. And I think the FDA recognizes the difference, right? So no box warning with TIC2 inhibitor. So this is very important. And whereas for our AD population, even though upadacitinib and abrocitinib are studied in the AD population, uh, gathering data that are different from the RA population, but we still see box warnings uh, applied there. So, so the FDA does recognize this key difference. And the last point I will just make very quickly is that right now we don't have any oral JAK1 or three inhibitors in development for psoriasis. And this is, this is very telling. All of our pipeline medications in oral therapy in terms of uh, you know, looking at the JAK inhibitor, the, the whole, whole family of it, is all centered really around TIC2 inhibition. So we're really sort of narrowing down in psoriasis, focusing on the TIC2 inhibition being the key um, target, oral target, and really moving away from JAK1 for psoriasis.